Hello everybody, this is Baldrich playing some M Tetris Motif Tetris a game I found yesterday on, on GitHub and I thought uh, this video a little bit different um, don't know what to call it uh, I probably know what I call it when you see this video because I uh, have to have made a, a, a title for, for YouTube and stuff, but I thought let's look at my tabs in my browser in this video um, Because there have been um, Yeah, I, I have read about a bunch of, of interesting projects and, and there are some uh, news and updates to some projects that I uh, use and Whatever, I just want to make some shout outs and, and highlights and, or what, whatever you want to call it, you know And, and we can also talk a little bit about the, the future of, of um, Bud Labs What, we, what um, we will focus on on the channel uh, soon But first let's uh, finish this round of Tetris I just cannot uh, abort though. Well, now I guess we are done right It's extremely hard to, to tuck pieces like the, this in, in this version. Alright. Maybe we are not. It's not over till the fat lady sings, you know. Mm. No! Alright. Here, this is hard coded into the code with the username Bob. <laughs> Bob. 15 years in loaded. All right, uh, quit this, hide this terminal, bring up the browser, uh, show me the tabs, man. Here they are. Um, so, first, here, here is the <laughs> M Tetris uh, that I was just playing here. So you can git clone this and, and try to compile it. You need uh, the motif um, libraries. Uh, I think there's a, a package called open motif you need need to have that installed at least and as you can see this this is like some very old uh, code from the early 90s developed by some Japanese an engineer in Japan it doesn't say that it, it actually is Japanese working for deck whatever just a cool fun little thing uh, to do and pretty interesting to look at these like uh, almost yeah almost 30 year old uh, source code you know how to write a, a, a GUI game in 1990 whatever not important another cool project uh, that I actually haven't tried yet uh, is, is this uh, swordfish a new tiling window manager by Joshua Stein here which is a great guy uh, in my opinion uh, so I have faith in this project um, it's um, yeah, it, it, it's a continuation of, of the good old uh, tiling window manager Rat Poison. Um, and I don't know. Uh, I haven't tried it yet because I couldn't compile it when I tried. But I filed an issue, and as you can see here, um, uh, JCS has um, has um, made uh, updated the repo. I haven't pulled the, pulled the latest changes, but it should build on Linux now. Um, but the interesting thing here is that uh, it uses um, divides the screen into one or more frames, each one only displaying one window at a time, but can cycle through all available windows. And that is kind of my workflow, you know. Uh, I, I have, have have that or some something similar with uh, tab layout, but. Uh, Sometimes it feels like, you know, i3 is working against that uh, workflow and here is a window manager that have that workflow intended from, from ground up, so to speak. And I think it's a, th th this is an interesting project and, and Joshua Stein, uh, he, J JCS here, 
he have a lot of, of uh, great uh, projects for example xbanish which i have been using for a long time uh, he, he has been a uh, open bsd maintainer or, or developer main contributor uh, since uh, 2001 or something he also created lobsters um, which is my favorite uh, tech uh, news aggregator uh, yeah and a bunch of stuff so so i i have faith in this project he, he seems like a really good guy that 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 creates nice things um he was also a part of uh, I think it's on this list. Yeah, the Garbage Podcast, if you listen to that, which was like a OpenBSD-focused uh, podcast, but uh, really good. But but um, um, they brought it to an end uh, earlier this year. So that's one thing that I've been try, uh, thinking about doing. Trying out this window manager, see how that feels like. Maybe, maybe I jump, do the hop over and do something do another window manager for a while or maybe it's not for me i don't know um but just interesting with new tiling window managers and that that uh, yeah whatever then we have this yeah uh, yesterday i i um, um, updated my packages and this is a package that i I use very uh, and rely on uh, a lot. It's the Python IPC library, and I have have made a couple of videos about how to write scripts for for Python IPC and stuff. And it have always been working fine, and it's it's really good. You know, they, it it works with Sway as well. But um, the developers released a a, a, a big uh, two point zero release here or two point zero point one release um, with a lots of breaking changes and and uh, yeah I, I guess the focus have been this uh, async uh, await async uh, uh, methods and they have completely rewritten uh, the documentation you can see here this await you can now do asynchronous uh, python stuff with it but there were a serious uh, bug. I think they will fix it uh, really soon. We, we, both me and another guy here, um, encountered the issue at the same time. So we actually reported the issue just a couple of minutes before I, I was about to write it. But the event, yeah, the, it's a weird issue, and I'm sure they will figure this out. I don't think it's a big deal. I just think it's a, a little mistake in the code but still it, it's really annoying that it slipped through or whatever but i have faith that they will fix uh, this issue like uh, in a day or, or two at least we uh, I, I i don't know but while i was uh, doing this i was thinking maybe there is like a, a, a better or different path you could take to to this uh, ipc uh, libraries you can of course use the very very raw built-in method that I use for for this you know the the key notification script that uses just uh, yeah uh, the, the the shell output of, of uh, the i3 message subscribe uh, command I could use that but that's very dirty so I thought to myself maybe there is an official way to do this and the only official uh, external IPC handler is this Go i3. Uh, and I know that uh, Mikael Stoppelberg, Stoppelberg um, um, he, he, he likes Go. He, he does a lot of things in Go. And uh, I guess he's the uh, biggest maintainer uh, of, of, of this uh, IPC handler. Yeah, it's almost only... So it should work really well with i3. Uh, I haven't really tested this because I don't <laughs> really know how, how to um, uh, program in Go. But uh, I thought le let's uh, try to get this working. Just just create some simple subscription script with, with Go here and Go i3 while I'm waiting for, for the update of Python IPC. And maybe I switch over to Go i3. I know now it's a lot of switching stuff here. Maybe I, 
maybe this is a waste of time if I switch window manager, but you never know. And, I, and honestly, I, I don't think that uh, I will switch to, to swordfish, but I think it's a very interesting, uh, or starfish. <laughs> it's the weirdest spelling here. I guess it's inspired by this amazing drawing here. Um, but you never know. Whatever, this is this is my brain, this is how it is, you know, it's, uh, oh, go, now you do this. And so, uh, so that's what I've been doing or for the last couple of hours, trying to set up Go and, and just going through some, some, some of the quick start guides on Go, the official ones. Um, so that's, that's something. And on the topic here of um, Mikael Stapelberg, uh, he, this is his uh, blog. Uh, where he announced uh, like a week ago or two weeks ago here that he have been working on a, a, a new Linux distribution to, to research fast package management and, and this this article was really really interesting because uh, uh, Mikael have been um, a, a, a contributor to, to the Debian project for, for, for a very long time. Yeah, or here, here we can see, I'm a Debian developer for, for seven years. But he, he, he got so frustrated with the package management in, in particular that, that he actually uh, stopped contributing earlier this year and wrote like a blog post about that. But he have been um, experimenting here with a completely new way of managing packages that, that looks extremely interesting. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, he, he use uh, go, whatever, or no, uh, it's kind of kind of um, complicated when, when you read about it like this, but um, uh, um, the gist of it all is that it will um, update a system. Um, in parallel, so so to speak. So 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 yeah, he have some demos on the on this, and and you can update several different packages at the same time, and also download different packages and up update them at the same time. It, it, it this is really 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 interesting things using like some kind of well, I use quotation marks containers. It's it's actually some weird file system here read only file system thing it, it yeah it looks really complicated in one way but it also looks really really smart in another way and this this distribution is just uh, created for uh, he have created it to test this package management system so so the distribution itself is not i guess you can get it but uh, it's really not recommended that that you use it as, as a system and and uh, Mikael's goal here is to hopefully inspire other distributions uh, to 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 adopt this system and yeah i hope they do because it it looks really really good <coughs> so on the topic of of distributions this is another distribution that was just recently uh, made public I have been following keeping an eye on this project for, for a while because it uh, uh, it's created by by Dylan Arabs um, who is uh, also the creator of, of Pywall which many people use in the rising community and also NeoFetch as you can see here but but um, yeah for, for like the last Last year or so, it, it looks like Dylan has been really, really, really into uh, uh, becoming a bash wizard so, somehow. And th this is a very good repo that I really recommend. It's pure bash bible here, which has, has a lot of, of great um, uh, uh, documentation and, and tips and tricks for writing great shell scripts. Um, and this distribution, this KISS uh, distribution, which is, you know, the acronym for uh, Keep It Simple Stupid, um, is, is um, completely bash-based, or shell, shell script-based, I should say. say it's a POSIX compliant shell, so, so it's, it, it's not bash either. Um, and it's extremely... The, the, this is minimal. The, this distribution is extremely minimal and I'm, 
I, I haven't tried this either, but, but I actually intend to try this. I, I, I think it looks really, really cool. Just a fun thing to, to play around with if, if you're, yeah, you know, like me into shell scripting and stuff. Because the whole package, the package manager is 500 lines of, of uh, shell script. And I really like this. One of the aims here uh, is, is that this whole distribution should be able to be maintained by only one or two people. And I think that's, that's a really, it's a good aim. It, it can of course be, be very bad if, if, if it's only one person, Dylan, that uh, maintains this and something happens to Dylan that makes, so he cannot maintain it at all. But still, since the whole system is so simple uh, and, and minimal, it should be easy to, to, to um, um, understand how it works, you know. So this is like Linux from scratch, uh, but um, much easier and, and simpler. Or it's not like, because this is actually a distribution. Whatever, I, I think it looks really cool and very interesting, very different also from, from Mikael's here, which is like this high-tech, brand new, uh, thinking outside the box uh, package manager. And here you have like, <laughs> going back to the to the roots and writing POSIX uh, 70s uh, shell script package manager instead. But uh, both of them, interesting projects. All right, and on the topic of Go, this is what I want to do in, in uh, upcoming videos here. I want to create a home page for Bud Labs using uh, Hugo, uh, which is a, a static site generator, uh, also written in Golang. So, so it, it like it's so many things right now that points to Go for me. So I, I feel like I want to 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 learn a little bit more go and i also would like i i already i have written a couple of or created a couple of home pages with hugo so i know it a bit but they have updated it quite a lot since last time i i, I used it but i thought uh yeah in, i don't know it will not be like a series where we do nothing else in between but there will be a lot of videos now about that will be really different from, from what I usually upload with, with the shell scripting and stuff. This will be more like web dev, maybe even design and, and static site generators. And maybe, yeah, if I found out something about how Go works and, and if we can do anything cool with that, you know. But uh, this stuff is really cool. So yeah, that's my tabs in my browser today. Uh, thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye.